And I see a couple people are still joining. So we're going to use this time to just wind down and gather any supplies we feel as though we may need for our prenatal yoga session. I have a water bottle, so feel free to grab something to drink to stay hydrated. I have a yoga block because we may or may not need a yoga block. I also have a yoga strap, a nice long pillow that we can use if needed, and also a little bolster pillow. That, um, so these are just a couple of options that we can use. And now we're going to use this time to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position as we are using our easy seat to help wind down and ground our mind and our bodies here today. I am sitting in a half lotus, placing our palms flat on our laps. Our heart chakra is lifted. Our chin is slightly up. We are allowing our spinal cord to be nice and elongated here. No sunken bodies. We're not going to sink that body in. We're going to keep that spinal cord nice and lengthened. That nice, elongated spine creates extra space in the belly, especially once the baby gets bigger. So sitting straight could help with low back pain. With our palms flat on our bellies or on our laps, we're going to take a nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Noticing how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. A lot of times we sit with our shoulders shrugged. Just relaxing those shoulders down helps relax and soothe the upper parts of the body. Slightly gazing the eyes downward or closing the eyes if that feels good for you. We can also option to place our palms on our bellies as opposed to sitting in seated prayer with our eyes gazed down or closed. Silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that seated salute, palms are together above our heads, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. We're going to allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. You may feel this in your lumbar spine as well as the upper parts of your body. That chin is up. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Let's separate our palms coming into that seated extended mountain. Our palms are separated. As we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that seated side bend, optioning to gaze up at the heavens. Notice that when we gaze up, our heart chakra lifts a little more. We can also option to breathe that right hand downward towards the earth. Still in a side stretch here in a side body. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. As we lean our bodies towards the left. Still in that side bend. Optioning to gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. We can also lower that left hand down to the earth. Coming deeper in that side bend. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Breathing our palms together in our salute. Exhale, palms come heart center, seated prayer, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Exhale, placing our palms on our laps. We're going to take this right hand, place it beside our bodies, fingertips facing away from us. Breathe in this left hand to that right knee. If we're able, and we're going to take a nice soft twist. We don't want to go too deep in our twist. 
when we are pregnant, especially when we are in our bigger months. So being mindful of that twist, only going as deep as your body comfortably allows you to go. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, placing both palms on our laps. As we take this left hand behind our bodies flat on the earth, fingertips facing away from us, optioning to bring this right hand to that left knee, if that feels good, as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder. Twisting a body as much as it feels comfortable for you, being mindful of baby and belly. We don't want to over twist. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. Hanging out here just for three breaths. Checking in with body, noticing how we feel within. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. This diamond or butterfly pose is great for big bellies. It creates extra space between the thighs for that baby bump. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. And our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a hip opener. This pose prepare the hips for labor and delivery. Noticing the difference between a diamond and a butterfly. Noticing how it feels within your body. Connecting the hands to the ankles or the feet. Allowing our back to straighten as much as we can with our eyes slightly gaze down or closed. Taking notice of how this pose feels within the body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. As we straighten out our left leg, we're going to keep the right foot just how it is, straightening out that left leg. Noticing how this feel. You may feel this stretch behind your legs here in your hamstring. So now we are doing a little hamstring stretch here. Noticing how that feels. And if we're able, we can slightly just hinge our bodies, lean towards the left. And you may feel this in your lumbar spine and slightly in your side body. A nice subtle lean. We don't want to lean too deep. Slightly gazing up at the heavens or gazing over that right shoulder. Being mindful of which body parts you feel stretching and lengthening. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and lifting the body up, coming back to that diamond or that butterfly. Bounding our feet together. Two breaths. Keeping that back straight, hearts lifted, chin is up. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we lengthen, straighten out that right leg out towards the side, feeling that stretch here. You may feel this behind your leg and your hamstrings, maybe. Keeping that heart chakra lifted, that chin up. Optioning to lean that body towards that right leg. Just a slight subtle lean. Noticing that when we lean towards that thigh, you may feel it a little more behind your leg here. Feeling that hamstring stretch. Eyes are soft. We gaze down or closed. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, or we can slightly gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that slight twist in your lumbar spine, in your side body. Feeling that stretch. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale in the body back to center. Let's straighten out that left leg. Now we are in our wide-legged seated pose. 
our straddle pose, connecting our hands to our laps or right underneath our knees. And if we are able, we can bring our hands even to our ankles as our body slightly hinge forward. And when we hinge forward, you may really feel that stretch behind both of your legs here, going a little deeper here in that hamstring stretch. These poses prepare the mind and body for labor. As their heart chakra comes slightly closer to the earth, allowing the shoulders to just relax forward, just feeling that entire body relax. Three more breaths. Pointing those toes downward towards the earth, coming a little deeper in that stretch when we point those toes downward. Two more breaths. Using our hands to walk our bodies up, coming nice and straight. Using our hands to breathe our feet inward, crossing our feet as we come onto our hands and our knees, working on that tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. And we're going to drop that tummy downward towards the earth, coming into that cow pose. Dropping that tummy down, noticing how this feels in your lumbar, your lumbar spine, your lower back. Chin is slightly up. And this cow pose is really good for labor pains. This is a nice labor prep pose. Just hanging out here in this pose, filling the stretch and the relaxation in that lumbar spine. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat, breathing our spinal cord up towards the heavens. Chin comes to clavicle. And we're going to be mindful of that cat pose. We don't want to squeeze too tight. Being mindful of baby and belly. <clears throat> Two more breaths. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. As we find our pause at center, we're going to work on balancing our mind and our bodies here. Extending that right leg towards the back. It's feeling that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth. Gazed forward. Mm. And noticing how this feels, this is balancing and strengthening here. We can option to extend that left arm forward. So right legs to the back, left arms forward. We are in that sunbird pose. If we're off balance, please optioning to lower those right toes downward towards the earth. We are still in a sunbird pose. Listening to our bodies. Lower those toes if needed. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into table. We're going to drop that body down to cow, allowing the mind and body to relax and soothe. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat. Coming back to table. Extending that left leg towards the back, nice and straight. Gaze forward. Optioning to breathe that right arm forward. We can also option, also option to lower those left toes downward towards the earth for balance. We are still in our sunbird pose. We are lengthening and stretching and strengthening the body here. This is also a balancing pose. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, coming back to table, dropping the body down to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back up to our table as we push our bodies to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Maybe we're a wide-legged down dog if we have big bellies. 
Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We're going to find that pose. We're going to drop down to our knees. And we're going to come into a puppy pose. Nice wide-legged puppy pose. Creating that space for belly. That heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Our forehead, our third eye chakra is connected to the earth. Or we can turn our heads to the side and relax our face on the yoga mat, on to the earth. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward, connecting to the earth, feeling that body relax. Eyes are gazed down or closed. With our arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, we are in an extended puppy pose. Or we can option to breathe our palms together, coming into a prayer hand puppy pose, palms above the head. Whatever feels good for you as we use this puppy pose to connect with mind, body, to connect with baby. Six breaths of silence. Optioning to flow down to a child's pose if that feels good. Child's pose or puppy pose. Five more breaths. Two breaths. If we're in our prayer hands, we're going to breathe our palms back to extended, palms flat on the earth, extended child's pose or puppy pose. Two more breaths. Using our palms, we're going to spine our wave our bodies out of our pose. Palms flat on the earth. We're going to wave our bodies forward, feeling that spinal wave and waving our buttocks towards our heels. Just waving that spine, loosening up that entire spinal cord. Allowing the neck to also flow into this rotation. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause at center, coming back to our tabletop pose, and we're going to come up to a camel prep, lifting our bodies off the earth, knees are flat on the earth. We're going to place our palms at the backs of our buttocks, fingertips facing downward towards the buttocks here, and we're going to work on a camel prep here, allowing the torso to slightly lean towards the back, your pelvic Tilts forward, bellies come nice and high in the air, shoulders flows towards the back, camel prep. This here is a slight back bend, being mindful of how you feel in your body, Owen, only leaning back as much as you comfortably can. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming to our hands and our knees. We are back in that tabletop pose as we drop down to our cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we are wide-legged down dog if we have big bellies. Finding that pause, we're going to walk our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Let's make it wide-legged if we have big bellies, always creating space for baby. Wide-legged forward fold or wide-legged half forward fold. If we are past our fifth or six months, sometimes being in a complete inversion, meaning head all the way down to the earth, could cause dizziness. So listening to your body, coming out of any pose that doesn't feel right quite right for you. So wide-legged half forward fold or complete forward fold. Optioning to sway or rock that body from side to side. Noticing that when we rock or sway, you may feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. We are further lifting and loosening up 
our hamstrings here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. If we're in our complete forward fold, flowing up to a half forward fold. Two breaths. Exhaling up to our goddess stance. We're going to bend our knees, coming into cactus hands. Bending the knees, coming into cactus hands. We are now working the lower parts of our bodies. You'll feel this in your calves, in your quads, your gluteus maximus. This here is a labor prep pose. We are strengthening the pelvic floor here in this God is God stance. Coming out whenever you need to. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to standing star. We're going to straighten those legs. Palms are out towards the side. We are in a star. That heart chakra is open. That chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down to that goddess stance, bending those knees, cactus hands, optioning to squeeze those shoulders towards the back, towards that spinal cord. We are working the upper parts of our bodies, the trapeze muscles where we squeeze, squeezing that spinal cord here. Coming back to cactus hands. Exhaling up to standing star. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. We are strengthening that pelvic floor. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down, the guy stance, bending those knees. And this time we're going to rock or sway that body from side to side. Really working the lower parts of the body here. Two more breaths. Finding that pause at center, standing star, straightening those legs, palms are out towards the side, heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath, exhale. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our standing salute, interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing those arms to slightly flow towards the back, that heart chakra lifts, that tummy comes forward, chin is up. This here is a slight back bend, three breaths, two breaths. Exhale back to center, breathing our palms at heart center. We're gonna yogi walk our feet together, coming into that standing prayer. We can have a nice little stance here, a little space. For balance, if that feels good for you, here in our standing prayer, allowing our shoulders to relax downward away from the ears, eyes are slightly gazed down or closed. Our feet are grounded and planted into the earth as we feel nice and strong and solid and where we are in our life. Feeling firm where we are going. Four breaths of solid meditation. Inhale, fill in the lungs with air. Exhale. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to salute, breathing those palms above our heads. Exhale the prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders down. Exhale it back to salute, palms above the head, feeling the circular rotations in the upper parts of the body. Breathe in. Exhale, palms come heart center. Two breaths. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. As we bend our knees, coming down to a chair pose, wide-legged chair here. Or we can also come down to a squat, whatever feels good for you. 
extending our arms in front of us in our wide-legged chair or squat, whatever feels good. Working the bottom parts of our bodies, working that pelvic floor. Two more breaths. Exhale, half forward fold, straightening those legs. Backs are straight, chin is up. This here is a counter stretch. Relaxing the muscles we just used, optioning to rock or sway that body from side to side. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes. Two more breaths. Hmm. Finding pause at center, coming back up. We're gonna be in our wide legged to dice and the palms are at our sides. Shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. We're gonna breathe our feet slightly together and we're gonna take our left foot off the earth. We are working on our balance here. Just noticing how this feels. If the balance is off, maybe come to a wall and just hang on out here at this wall because safety is first. Holding on to that wall if that feels best for you here. With that left foot off the earth, we're going to slightly just lean forward and just feel that maybe bringing our palms at heart center. Kind of slightly in an airplane pose here, straightening that left leg if that feels good. We are balancing. And exhale back to center. Back in that Tadasana. Two more breaths. As we take that right foot slightly off the earth, working on balancing the opposite side. Noticing how this feels. Come into that wall if that's needed. Safety first. As we slightly hand forward, we're going to straighten that right leg to the back. We are in that airplane pose. We can keep our palms at heart center. We can extend them forward coming into that airplane. Whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Palms at heart center. We are in our standing prayer. Gazing down. Shoulders relaxed. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. As we allow this right foot to come forward. Coming into that pyramid pose. If we have big bellies, we're going to be slightly off to the side in that pyramid, allowing our torso to relax down, and you'll feel it stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings here. Two more breaths. Now we're going to bend this right knee, coming into that low lunge. Noticing how this feels. We're going to keep this left palm flat on the earth. And we're going to take this right hand off the earth and lift it up towards the heavens. Feel in that heart chakra open lift. Right arm extends up towards the heavens. We can gaze forward. We can gaze up at that right hand. When we gaze up, you'll feel that heart chakra lift even more. That chest opens. Optioning to gaze over that right shoulder. Coming in that twist. If that feels good. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that hand back down. Breathe down dog. Gazing at the feet. As we breathe that left foot forward. Straightening that left leg. Pyramid opposite side. If we have big bellies, lean in that body slightly off to the side. Being mindful not to squeeze baby here. Feeling that stretch behind your legs and that hamstring opposite side. Two more breaths. Mm. Bending that front knee, coming into that runner's lunge or low lunge. <sighs> Hanging out here. If all feels well, we're going to allow this right hand to be flat on the earth. Having that nice balance here. We're going to take this left hand, bring it off the earth. Gaze it up towards the heavens. Extend that left arm up. Feeling that heart chakra lift. Gazing up at those left fingertips or gazing forward. 
If we're gazing up, maybe slightly gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that slight twist. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Both palms are flat on the earth. Breathe down, dog. Gazing at the feet. Walking our feet towards our hands. Wide-legged, complete forward fold or half forward fold. Listening to your body. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. If we're in a complete forward fold, come into that half forward fold. As we come to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. Breathing into our salute. Exhale the prayer, standing prayer. Hanging out here. Two more breaths. We're going to breathe this right foot forward again. Left foot's to the back. Let's flow into that warrior two. As we continue to work on the lower parts of our bodies, we have our palms to the front, palms to the back, chin is lifted. Exhale to reverse warrior. Right arm flows over that head. Chin is up, gazing up at the heavens. Exhale into side angle. Breathing that right arm over that right thigh. Extended side angle. Lifting that left arm up at the heavens. Exhale back to warrior two. Hands to the front, hands to the back. As we twist that body forward, warrior one, both palms are up in the air. Or high lunge. High lunge, we just twist that body forward, both palms are up in the air. So high lunge. Or warrior one. Exhale, twisting that body forward. We are wide-legged, half forward fold. Wide-legged, half forward fold. <sighs> Walking our hands forward. Down dog, breathing our feet together. As we breathe that left foot forward. Runner's lunge, just for a moment. Coming back up to that warrior two, opposite side. <sighs> we are now working the opposite side of our bodies. Warrior two, heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Hands to the front, hands to the back. Exhale, reverse warrior. Mm. Flow into side angle, breathing that left hand over that left thigh. Or extended side angle, extending that right arm up in the air. Gazing up at the fingertips, if that feels good. Mm. Exhale back to warrior two. As we twist that body forward, warrior one or high lunge. In our warrior one, we hold our position from warrior two. We just twist that body forward. Both palms are up in the air. Heart chakras lifted, chin is up. And that high lunge, we twist that complete back leg forward. High lunge. Whatever feels best, two more breaths. <laughs> Exhale, relaxing the arms, twisting our bodies forward. Wide legged, half forward fold or complete forward fold. <laughs> Walking our hands forward, coming into a down dog. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a tabletop. Breathe in. Exhale, cow's pose. Dropping the tummy down, chin is up. Flowing into a cat. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath.
Finding our pause at table, we're going to cross our feet at our ankles, coming on to our buttocks. Coming back to that bell position, either that diamond or that butterfly, we're taking this time to just check in with body. Also allow our mind and body to relax in our bell position, connecting our hands to our feet. And we're going to open up our feet like a book, just using our hands to open up our feet. And what we are doing is we are squeezing and we are massaging our feet. Just taking a moment to show the feet and the toes a little love. Squeezing and massaging where you feel needed with that back straight. Shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears and our eyes are relaxed. Downward or slightly closed. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Really feeling that massage here. We're going to do a bonus. Three more breaths. We're going to find that pause. Positioning our bodies to feel nice and good. We're going to take this left foot and slightly lift it up, connecting it to our left hand. And we're going to extend that left foot. Just feeling that stretch here. We can keep our leg forward or we can slightly breathe it out towards the side. Really feeling that hip open here. Once again, preparing the body for labor. Two more breaths. As we breathe that leg inward, relaxing that foot, we're going to lift that right foot slightly up, connected to our hand as we extend that right foot out in front of us or out towards the side. Really feeling that stretch. <clears throat> feeling that pull behind the leg and the hamstring. Our heart chakra is lifted, our chin is up, and our spinal cords are nice and elongated. Two more breaths. And we're going to slightly bend that knee. We're going to lift that left foot up. Both knees are bent. We're playing with our feet in our hand, kind of like a bear pose. Bear playing with their feet. These here are bolt pose variations. We're going to extend that left leg. Extend that right leg if that feels good. Optioning to keep your feet bent if you must. Our backs are straight. Our heart chakra is lifted. This is a balancing pose. It is also so a lengthening and stretching pose. Two more breaths. Exhaling those feet back in. We're going to come onto our backs into a reclined position. If we are bigger in our months, we're going to have a pillow underneath the lower part of our back. That way our hips are slightly elevated. We don't want to lay flat on our backs when we are past our sixth or seventh month of pregnancy. <sighs> With that pillow, or even a blanket underneath your back. We just want to slightly elevate that pelvic floor. We're going to allow our shoulder blades to relax onto the earth. Noticing how the blanket or the pillow is lifting that pelvic floor upwards. Kind of like we're ready to go into that bridge pose. But we're just going to relax here. Shoulder blades melt it to the back. We can keep our knees bent if that feels good, or we can straighten our legs, whatever feels good for us. Mm. Just going to hang out here for two breaths. And if all feels well, we're going to bend our knees with our feet flat on the earth. Bend the nose, knees, feet are flat on the earth. And then we're going to lift our feet off the earth. Knees come closer towards our torso. Let's work on a happy baby. Wide-legged happy baby if we have big tummies. Lifting our feet up in the air. Or we can do a modified version and just keep our feet flat down. Breathing, breathing our hands between our thighs. Connecting them to our feet. If we're in that complete happy baby. And just noticing how this feels. Within the hips, this here is, the happy baby is a hip opener as well. Optioning to lower those feet slightly down and just relaxing here if we have any discomfort. 
with our feet way up in the air. <clears throat> Relaxing the body. We're going to come off this pillow, removing that pillow, and we're going to twist our bodies. Knees come towards the left. Recline spinal twist. Or you can place that pillow between your thighs for comfort here. Recline spinal twist. Knees are flowed to the left as our right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. We can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over our right shoulder and really feel that spinal cord twist and decompress. Taking a nice breath, exhale. Four breaths of silence. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt to the earth. Three more breaths. Exhale the body back to center. Recline spinal twist opposite side. Knees flows towards the right. <clears throat> Feeling that spinal cord decompress here. Placing our palms on our bellies if that feels good. Our left hand comes out to the side like a lowercase t. As we gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that twist. Shoulder blades melts back into the earth. Eyes are gaze down with a closed. Maybe we have that pillow between our thighs for comfort. Four more breaths of silence. Holding on to this pose, we're just going to breathe our body slightly forward, coming into a fetal pose. Placing a pillow underneath our neck for comfort or using our hands to completely relax the body. Here in our fetal pose, we have our pillow between our thighs for comfort. We have something, something underneath our neck for comfort, our hands or pillow. Placing that top hand on the belly. Allowing those eyes to relax down. Feel in the shoulder blades, relax. Feel in your facial muscles, relax. Your chin is relaxed. Your forehead is relaxed. Here in our fetal pose, maybe use this time to focus on self. Maybe use this time to focus on baby within. Eight breaths of silence. Two more breaths. We can option to stay in our fetal position or any recline position that feels good for us. For those who choose, we can come into a seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position.
allowing the body to continue to relax and soothe. Palms are placed on our bellies. Eyes are still gazed down or closed. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice prenatal <laughs> yoga here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice prenatal yoga with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.